Hi, this is Tweek. Today we're going to make night lights. Now, yes, you probably have them all over your home already and you can order them online, but have you ever made one for yourself? It's very, very fun. So join me. Night lights, they're a very fun way to personalize your own space in whichever room you want to add a little touch of yourself in there with some color, with some sparkle, and really the sky's the limit depending on what you choose to work with. There's a basic uh, pattern to follow, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Here we've got some examples. These night lights are made out of two inch quilters safety pins and whatever bead choice you care to use so that beads can be matched to any decor. Anything that suits your fancy can be done. There are different bases to be used in night lights. I know of some outlets even come with night lights attached to them and their light sensor. Those are all fine, but if you look at them, they tell you where you need to go if you're going down a hallway, but they don't add much pizzazz or sparkle to your environment. And that's what I like to see. I like to see a little pop of color and um, that's what we're gonna do. The bases can be old-fashioned click on and off bases. The bases could also be light sensor bases. And currently now there are LED bases that you can purchase. So here's an example of the light censored base that has a traditional night light bulb in it. Um, these bulbs will get hot, so you'd want to use glass beads when you make your top to your night light. This is an example of the old-fashioned yet new light censored base. It has the old style bulb that you screw in and out and this will sense for you and turn the light on and off. This however has the old bulb so your calculations and how you make your night light top would be just a little bit different. You might have to add another pin or two with the beads. This is an example of the new LED base. It has a light in it that won't get hot or generate heat, so you're free to use any kind of bead that you wish to use, whatever color you wish, plastic or glass. The only thing you have to be mindful of is the number of beads that go around the base in the top of your nightlight. This will come on and off based upon what it senses, and that's perfect. Today we're gonna make a lid for that nightlight, and we're gonna do it in pretty blues. So the reason why I chose this base is because it's a little less expensive than the old-fashioned bases. You don't have to click it on and off. You don't have to worry about it being left on. You don't have to worry about the heat coming from the bulb. If you have little kids around, you don't really want them to play with these things because they are safety pins and they could snap if they were over manipulated. But there's less of a hazard for getting burned as with any night light, uh, the safer is the better. The old fashioned ones are pretty, but you have less worry in using the new one. To make this version of your night light, you will need supplies. And those supplies will be 12 safety pins. Now these are called quilter's pins, they're two inch. I call them safety pins. And then you need beads, whatever beads you like, whatever color you like. And then what you need to do is figure out a pattern that fits on the pin. So we open up the pin and you have this much space to work with, which means that is your guide as to what actually will go on your pin for your design. I came up with a design for this here. It's a small tiny bead. And then I put in four of the blue beads. I add one more small bead. Now you have a little teeny spot there and hold your finger, hold the beads in place and gently bring the pin around and snap it into place. And there you have your first of the 12 all set. It's a pattern I'm going with and we'll add to it in a little bit. So you repeat the process 11 more times. So we've chosen our pattern, we've loaded up the 12 pins, next step. We're going to hook these pins together and we're going to add a spacer bead between. Now the spacer bead is a six millimeter bead. 
and you can see it's a little bit smaller than this here. That's an eight millimeter. I use this size beads because it works better with the size pin. If you use a wider bead, you'll end up with bigger gaps between the pins and more light will shine through. And I'd like an overall effect with the color that I've chosen with the beads. So what we do next is very simple. We get our trusty wire, low grade wire. And I measure out oh, maybe about eight inches or so. And I'm gonna take the wire and put a little crimp in the end. So in case I lose my way, my beads won't roll all over. And pick up a pin. I'd like the pins facing me. See how there's an empty side and the beaded side. So I'd like the beaded side to be facing me. And before I string that bead, I'm gonna take a blue that I've chosen for the top and string a blue six millimeter bead. And then with the beads facing you, string that in next to it. Then repeat the pattern. Another blue. And another pin. Oops, that one fell off. And another pin. Here's what we're getting now. We're sticking them all together and we're using these little beads as spacers. pin, you have a little pretty little curtain of beads there. You can lay it down if you'd like to see. What I do here is I just make sure that I didn't miss a spot or didn't add too many beads. It's a little frustrating to get through with your construction and you see that you, you added too many beads and there's a big gap. And the gap will show the light and I like for the light to be a continual blue in this case, which will be really pretty. So we've got this, now we're gonna bring these two ends together. And I'm going to, using my thumbs, push in on the wire so that they're close as I can get them. And I'm gonna start giving a few gentle twists. And as I go, just twist the whole thing together, twist the whole top around. That last bead will fit in between and become the spacer for the two starter and the ender pins. I'll show you here. Looks a little kooky, wacky, but it all comes together into a circular pattern. And I've got that much wire built up, so I'm going to simply snap here, your scissors, discard the wire, and this little end piece, I'm simply gonna fold it in. Now the the wire is very soft. I you sometimes use the front of the scissors to tuck that in. You're just tucking it in. You don't have to hide it. You just want it out of the way and you want it to not unravel. So now this is what you've got. You've got the top of your nightlight already. See how easy that was and how pretty that's going to be? The bottom end is a little more fun, a little more complicated maybe. So you can flip this over and again, check to make sure everything's in good order. You've got all your spacers, and now we get some wire and put the spacers on the bottom part of the nightlight. Okay, my spacers this time are silver, and this is a little trickier because you have the head of the pin, which has a little more space in it, but we'll work it out. So I put a spacer bead on here, I crimped the end, Crimp the end of the wire just as a safety measure in case everything goes rolling. I'll have it all still on the main piece of wire. Put in a spacer bead and you're going to go through that spot. See? I use a big enough bead that it won't slide through into that spot. If you use a tiny bead it'll slide through and you won't have your spacers working to help space <laughs> the pins apart. Uh, add another one. And you can see where we're going here. Then simply follow through. Get the pin. Sometimes the wire tries to ride up inside that space, so that's a thing to check for. Another spacer. This is a project where I love to have some music going or one of your favorite programs. Uh, to me, it's very relaxing. And you end up with such a pretty product in the end.
So you have your spacer beads and your pins all evenly strung onto the wire. Now we have to pull it together. As you pull the two ends together, it kind of works it out on its own, but you have to make sure that the wire itself stays within the top part of that head pin so it doesn't slide up towards the base or towards the top. So you pull it in together and make sure that the wire is firmly into each space in the, in the pin. And then very gently again, just start rotating the whole piece. And what you're doing is that last bead spacer will tuck in with the first and second pins. The wire is soft and if you over manipulate it, it will break. We don't want that. And then I sit it down to see how even it looks. And I look around, you can take your scissors if you want and gently tuck the wire if you need to. I kind of give each bead a little tuck just to make sure it's in there where it should be. And if you like what you have there, we snip off the excess. And you have that little tail that you tuck in. There you go. So there you have it. Your nightlight top that goes with the LED base. If you want to use an old fashioned base, see how nicely 12 pins fits very nicely on the new LED base. If you want to make one using another bulb, you can see it doesn't fit. So you'll need to increase the number of pins. The same process, you just add one or two extra pins and it will easily slide down over the top. So we've created the blue today, but oh my goodness, depending on the bead you choose for your own decor, the crystal is absolutely beautiful. These are just glass beads and some silver, and it's just so pretty when it's lit up, as is the blue. I like the glass beads very much. Here's a pink one. This pink is really pretty, and they look different when they're lit up. They're pretty enough non-lit, but lit up. They're just so pretty. We've got the crystal, the blue, the pink. Those are all glass beads, so if you come over to the plastic beads, you're gonna get a really pretty shine when that is lit up. Also, if you make a lid for the old-fashioned style switch, you could find out that it doesn't fit properly. So what I do is unscrew the bulb and take some wire and just make a little ring that will fit around the base and screw the bulb back in and now you have a little nesting place for that light to sit. This one's really pretty lit up. They all are, but I really, really like that one. Plastic beads. You can also get creative and incorporate other types of beads into the design. Here I just used some little leaves of different colors. And this one lit up is really pretty too. In fact, they're all pretty. Um, it's just whatever you want to see in your own environment, something that matches your style, you can create it. And it's very, very lovely. You'll like it. And there you have it. Did you think something made of pins and beads could be so pretty? I'm gonna keep these because I like them. So if you would like to subscribe to our channel, please do give us a like. Leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next episode.